After coming off a state championship and being ranked a five-star quarterback, I had all sorts of schools offering me scholarships to come play for them, but it was finally time to make a decision at signing day. Part of what went into my decision would be where I could get the most playing time right away. I even considered the walk-on route at one point in this process, as I almost signed my letter of intent to the University of Florida, but ultimately I decided to go play for Wisconsin up north, as they offered me the starting position as soon as I got there. I arrived on campus as an 84 overall true freshman, but would upgrade that to become an 89 overall before I even played my first collegiate game. Of course, we had to make sure all our accessories matched our new team's uniform, as it was now time to hit the field for my first ever practice as the Badgers starting quarterback. I looked very confident in my first practice with the team, as we were going up against our first team defense tonight in a full scrimmage, and I had some really good plays throughout the entire practice that were showcasing my raw natural talent and giving flashes of how good I could be in the future for this team. After our first practice, I had already moved up to veteran starter status before even playing a single game game for the team, but now it was finally time for that to change. The very first game of my career was going up against UMass here at home at Camp Randall, and I was definitely feeling the college learning curve early on. Despite that, I was still making plays for my team here early on in the first quarter. Even though I was super nervous, it was looking like I had already been here in this situation before, as I was moving my team down the field with ease on our very first possession of the game today. I managed to get us down inside the 10 yard line to set up our first goal to go situation, and would find Tom Wright for my first ever career touchdown pass. That first drive seemed to settle the nerves a bit as I was out here throwing darts and would find Steven Jean who would slip his defender and take this all the way to the house for my second touchdown pass. After throwing for a while, I decided to start moving around on my feet as well to show off my scrambling ability. Between the running and the passing, I would get us down inside the 10 yard line again where I would hand it off to Clint Riley for another touchdown. It was now the start of the second half and we were looking to build upon our 20 point lead over UMass the rest of this game. And it was continuing to look like I could do no wrong today as I was still throwing absolute darts. I would connect with my tight end James Brown to get us down inside the red zone once again today and then would score my first ever rushing touchdown of my career on a read option call. Despite my great start today, I was not immune to freshman mistakes as I would end up turning the ball over to the UMass defense with this fumble while I tried to scramble, but would make up for it on the very next drive as I would connect with James Brown again for my third passing touchdown of the day as that would help secure the win in my first collegiate start and I would earn player of the game honors as well with a fantastic stat line for my first ever start as a college quarterback. After that win, we didn't let up the following week as we would hit practice hard every day and I would be able to boost myself up to a 93 overall which would get me named as a team captain headed into our second game of the season against FCS East. After last week's dominating win, I was hoping this would be another one for our team as we were off to a hot start against the Howlers moving the ball down the field on our first possession. They would get us backed up to a third and 10 though and would wind up stopping us just short of the first down marker, and they would force a stop as Clint Riley would get stuffed at the line of scrimmage on fourth down. FCS East was surprisingly playing great defense against us to start this game today, as they had already gotten two stops against us so far in just the first quarter alone, and it was still a scoreless game headed into the second quarter. I was looking to change that though here in the start of the second quarter as we were moving the ball down the field again, and on third and goal would find Tim Slaughter for our first touchdown of the day. A seven point lead was not enough for us to be comfortable though, so I would roll out to the right and find Darren Brown wide open as he would slip multiple tackle attempts from the Howlers defense and would take this all the way to the house for a touchdown. Despite that great play, I would make a horrible mistake as I would throw my first career interception and it would almost be taken all the way back for a pick six, but thankfully we would stop them just short. And so the Howlers would only wind up getting a field goal out of my mistake on that play as our defense would step up for us. With just over a minute to go in the half, I wanted to get those points back, but the Howlers would get another stop on defense against us, but they would leave us with 25 seconds left as I would throw a bomb down the left side to the one yard line but unfortunately would not be able to convert on second and goal. So we only ended up taking a field goal headed into the second half to only be up by 14 over the Howlers. That was looking to change quickly though as I would find Darren Brown who would get inside the 10 yard line for us and we would cap it off with a fullback touchdown from Corey Roberts. I would tack on one more passing touchdown to help extend our lead at the start of the fourth quarter and despite the sloppy game from us today in the rain we would manage to pick up the win over 
over the Howlers. In only two games so far this season, I had already become a hometown hero, but now we had to get ready for a tough game as we had our biggest test of the early season so far, as we were going to be on the road for the first time in my career, taking on the 24th ranked Arizona State Sun Devils. And to try and help us, I would upgrade my speed and acceleration headed into this game. We would get the ball first today, and I would go right to work, connecting with Steven Jean on a shot down the middle of the field. And before we knew it, we found ourselves in the red zone and were knocking on the door of the end zone, where Clint Riley would once again finish things off for us on the ground. Our defense would come out and get a stop against the Sun Devils on their first possession of the day, so we were looking to capitalize on that and go up two possessions over them, but we would be backed up to a third and 16 after that sack and wouldn't be able to convert on this halfback screen to Clint Riley. We would have to settle for a field goal that possession, but our defense would come back out and get yet another stop against the Sun Devils offense, so we had another chance to expand our lead here, which we would do just that. Arizona State's offense seemed to be struggling all day as it was almost halftime and they still hadn't scored, and that would give us this perfect opportunity to go up by 24 over them before the end of the first half tonight. It wasn't until the third quarter that the Sun Devils would get their first touchdown of the game, but I made sure that we made up those points back real quick as we had the opportunity to turn this game into a blowout on our next possession if we could score. That play would come from Clint Riley as he would take the handoff and take this one in from 26 yards out for us. As with one more touchdown pass to Darren Brown in the fourth quarter to cap things off, we completed the upset over number 24 Arizona State and I looked fantastic in the process of doing so. It was now time for us to start Big Ten Conference play, so coach racked up the intensity of practice this week as we had our eyes set on a Big Ten title. Headed into this game, I had gained even more trust from coach and had now become a household name and hopefully that could help boost our offense even more to get the win this week. I came out swinging against the Purdue defense as we take a deep shot across the middle to start things out as that is where their biggest hole on defense seemed to be so I would keep attacking it on this drive. That would get us all the way down into the red zone where I would connect with Darren Brown for our first touchdown of the day but Purdue would answer right back on offense with a touchdown of their own. I wanted to get the lead back for them as quickly as we could on our next possession as Clint Riley would do just that for us from the one yard line. I would throw for my second touchdown pass of the first quarter on our very next drive but somehow Purdue's offense was still barely keeping them in this game despite how quickly we were scoring on them. This might have been the play of the year so far for me as I would launch this one deep down the left sideline and would find Johnny McRae in stride as he would beat his defender and take it all the way to the house for a touchdown. I would get a little too greedy though to start the second half as I would try to force another touchdown pass but instead would throw my second interception of the season so far. I would thankfully bounce right back from that though as on our following drive I would get us down into the red zone and coach wanted to stay aggressive as we would go for it on fourth and inches and would convert. That would ultimately lead to another Clint Riley rushing touchdown on this pitch play and we were off to a great start in Big Ten Conference play as we would get the win here at home and would be looking for a lot more like this one next episode.